Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Um, I really do truly appreciate it. Um, if you could like, comment, share, anything like that, I would really be appreciative of that. Um, if you see it on Instagram, if you wanted to share that, please feel free. Um, we are going to jump in. So this is my budget plan. I have quite a lot of people asking. Um, I've created this planner. I use it weekly. Um, through the week I'll have a look at it as well. It's completely undated so you can buy at any point. I do still have some left for this year. But yeah, you can. it's completely undated um, so you can start it at any point in the month. But we are going into the pink one, which crazily enough is... I've already started doing some bits. Is May. So we're going into May. So, oh golly. Um, isn't that cute? I really do love these pictures. So yeah, so we're going into pink. We've got the pink pen back. Um, I do have a pink friction pen if I do need it. But I, I love this. This was a gift for me. My birthday. Um, what's the month looking like? So I've got my sister's birthday on Tuesday. I've got her gift and things though. But um, I forgot to write it in. And then there's not really much else happening in the month. Um... We don't not really planning anything. May's kind of a an unknown happening month, isn't it? Um I've got my brother in law's birthday brother in law's birthday on the twenty seventh. Uh Alan's sister's birthday is on the twenty eighth, and then I've got another sister whose birthday's on the second. I am making um May a five week month, although I do get paid on the twenty seventh and my budget starts on a Monday. Um, I've decided to make this a five week month so that June can be four weeks and it's coming into the summer so it's just a bit easier on me coming into the summer when we might potentially go away for a few days or something like that just so I can put a bit more towards holiday savings in June time um, so yeah so yes yeah, so not much else if anyone has a positive quote they want to put in the comments let me know please feel free to do so um, and not really sure what's going to motivate me this month um to keep to it possibly just to make sure that i am organized for going to belgium and maybe organizing a little holiday in august time i don't do this page this is a month overview some people like to plan monthly and then go off and break it down uh, it was a page that was requested of me but it's not something i do um which is fine. You don't have to use every page in the book. Um, just whatever makes it work for you. As long as you're not just using what this page and none of the rest of the pages, obviously, then that is wasted pennies. Um, but yeah, this lighting is just not not it today, is it, guys? So um, so yeah. So let's go in. I have filled out some of it, but we're going to pretty much do a full on. Um, hang on till I open the blinds. See, that's better light wise. Um, Oh, that's much better. Should have done that at the start. Um, yes, yeah, so I have some some of the calculations things, but we're going to do a complete budget with me from the get go. So if that's not something you want to hear my brain ticking over, I don't blame you. But yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> so uh, let's just get stuck in. So the rollover coming into the first week of May is £1,770.64. Now that is including wages and extra money that came in this week, this last week, um, in the last week of April, um, that I've not used. So it does include my monthly wage as well. So um, there is no other money that I'm expecting to come in. So we are just going to stick with the £1,700 and 64 i will have an etsy pay to come in but i'll probably bring that in towards near the end of the month just so i feel like i've got money coming in if that makes sense um all my bills are due to come out so we've got the credit card now that is the minimum pay payment plus a boosted payment which is almost half of the minimum payment um no which is almost the same as the minimum payment so um I think the minimum payment's 35 or something like that. But I just keep the boosted on because it'll get the credit card paid off quicker. Council tax is due to come out. I've no idea how much it is. I've misplaced the letter. It's in here somewhere. Um, 
so I, I think it might be 98 but we're just going to go with 96 for now rent will come out at 375 car tax 3, 13 pound 12 um, pet club 19.99 Westcott is like an old bill that I had I'd just be 10 pound a month on um, mobile 38.58 so I did have to renew my contract with my mobile and it has brought it up a little bit which is annoying um, but it's fine my loan is 215.69 that finishes in October but it's like an extra £50 as the final payment um, which I have marked down in the start of my book so I should remember but yeah um, looking forward to that being finished and having that extra money in my budget um, and my TV is £36.50 again that's come up that's Sky but um, oh, there's just not really much you can do is there you know you need to watch the telly and we do like the Sky channels so all in all my bills come to £865.64 which when you think if I take off that £200 that's my bills are really coming down which I'm loving um so eight six five six four uh, obviously I do have more bills throughout the month but that is like the the big ones more or less um I do have a sofa payment coming out further down broadband you know that kind of thing so I'm just going to do my normal so I think I'm kind of managing with 35 pound on groceries I am on a health plan um, I'm calorie deficit so I'm not actually like following any plan as such but um, I'm still trying to find like the foods that I want to eat it's obviously there's a lot more fresh I always bought fresh veg and fresh meat anyway but um, we'll see how it goes it might have to go up fuel is going to get 40 um, again I could probably Actually, I'm going to do 35. I think I can get away with 35 at the minute uh, until we get some new clients on board. So, um, no, actually, I'm going to do 40 purely because I might go down and see my mum. So that's extra mileage. So we'll leave it 40. My spending, we will do um, as a challenge. Piper, I'm going to get £10 for her this week because she's going to start needing some bits. Work spending needs £5. It really needs more than that, but I'll just take it from any um, groceries. And the Safiano is a sinking fund, which is not my purse here, but um, I'm going to put... I know I need toilet paper this week, so um, that will deplete what's in the household fund just now. So I'm going to put £10 in there and then eat now. I'm just going to put £10 in. So that's the Safiano. Eating out, I like to have two months, uh, yeah, two weeks of eating out. Um, and I think it's my turn to pay this time. So that's £20. So let's roll and see what we are going to do for my spending. So I think it's in this one. Let's have a wee look. So my spending, oh, that's open. My spending is the Spacers Challenge. So basically, this you can find this one on my website. Most of the challenges, unless I say differently, are on my website. I am doing a couple of swap boxes um, with a couple of girls. I'm really excited for it. I just need to get my button to gear and get them going from my end. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of swap boxes. I'm really excited to get some new bits in um and i am going to try once a month to buy a challenge but i need to be careful because um my budget is lowish um i can't really afford to be buying lots of challenge you know like other people's challenges but i do want to be supporting other people um so yeah it's it's a kind of it's a difficult one for me because obviously i started doing my etsy because i started because i couldn't afford to buy all the nice challenges so that's why my etsy started it didn't start as etsy it started just me making my own challenges and then obviously progressed to etsy um so yeah so i'm going to try and do a bit more purchasing from other shops but um yeah we will my budget doesn't really allow me to do loads of challenges either, which I have loads and I'm struggling with it, but never mind. 
let's see what we can roll. Ideally, we would like maybe five. Oh, and we got a six, so that's not too bad. So, what am I looking for up there? Nothing. So, six. So, that will be, we could probably put that there or down here. Anywhere. Let's figure it out as we go. But yes, yeah, so let's pop that back. So, we don't need to, I'm not going to roll again. Um, six is fine. So, six goes into spacers, which is here. Which means four pound goes into my spending. Hope that makes sense. So I'm saving what well, I'm saving, and then the rest is going to be in case I need it. Um, I'm probably not going to use it. Not going to lie, I feel like I want to keep it just in case um, I ever need it because it'll be guaranteed. The one time I don't have it is when I'll need it. So um, it's kind of like a buffer for my groceries or my fuel. You know, that kind of thing as well. Um, so yeah, 114. I'm just going to add that up again because I don't recall actually. <laughs> I don't remember adding that up. 114. Okay. So 905 minus 114. So that leaves me with 791. It's crazy how... You go from £1,000 and then all of a sudden you're at £700. Just blows my mind. Okay, right. So now we're going to go into the binders. So I did, I was gifted money um, from Buy Me A Coffee, which I actually used. So I took out money that was in in the binder to, to use. So I'm replacing it. So that's the £25 there. And then let's see what else we have. So that's this £25 in the bank. It should be £25 in cash. And then if that makes sense. So I'm not sure. I think I might have got £5 left to do there. Maybe have I completed this? I'm not sure. Oh, no, I've completed this. So we don't need to do anything in here in beauty. But I must. I keep getting in trouble. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. Um, I keep getting in trouble from Lucy because she wants me to get my nails done. <laughs> Which I want to get my nails done too. My lady is still on maternity leave. I'm not going to go to anybody else um, because she is my friend. Um, so yeah, so we'll have to wait a wee bit longer. I was speaking to her um, and she's just loving life with her wee boy. So... I'm not going to push her just because I want my nails done. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. Clothing, again, is fully funded. So that is awesome. I have decided that I'm not going to buy any clothing for the time being. I have lots of clothes. Um, and so, I yeah, I'm just not going to. £5 I'm going to put into dog room because we'll need to start banking that for when she does need... Um, a groom vet fund always gets five pound regardless and we are just building up alan's birthday now so he has 20 40 60 70 so i'm gonna i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know whether to get him just little gifts or one big gift and go towards the summer um but i think i'm just gonna stop at 100 um for his birthday because I'm going to do Sophia's challenge and like that'll add up to the extra if that makes sense. Um, so that is all we are putting in the love binder. So we have 25 plus 5, 5 and 10. So that's £45 going in there. Um, binder 1. And this is what I do every single week when I am planning out my my sinking funds i just go through see what i have see what money i have spare and go from there so fully funded emergency so we don't need anything in there home improvements a 700 in the bank we've got 20 30 40 so let's put another 10 in and that gets that to 750 um this is for like flooring and wallpaper so what i need to get um i'm not sure when but i do have my emergency money if I need to dip into it, but I think I'm going to stop at 800. Um, I feel it like not spending more than 800 on my flooring. 
is enough. <laughs> We've got appliances, we've got 400 in the bank, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 550. So we'll put another 10 in there. I am going to buy a dishwasher from my friend. Um, I don't have space for a dishwasher at the minute, but there is sort of partial plumbing for a washing machine out in like a little off bit of my kitchen um so i want to put my washing machine tumble dryer out there um and then so that needs plumbed but i'm going to get the dishwasher in from her because her mum has gone into hospital so she's cleaning her home basically um so that is all that's going into binder one so that is 20 pound i don't put a lot into sinking funds i don't go over i have quite a few sinking funds but i don't go overboard with them because um I've got it kind of planned out as to where we're going. So car maintenance has £10 in, but I'm just going to build that up a little bit so we have some money uh, just in case anything goes wrong um, because we're getting close to where I'm going to need my car insurance. I am going to look um, at this month to see what my car insurance is just in case I need to save more. But we have 700 in the bank at the minute and that is all we need for that. Birthdays and occasions... Again, still not taking the money out of this to put into my friend's folder. I must organise to see her, but we both have such busy, busy, busy lives. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So I'm going to probably take about £20 out of that for my friend. Um, so 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. Um, and we have all these birthdays in June, so I'm going to put 10 in. There, I see I have my sister's birthday present that is at the end of April. I have that already. I just need to get a card. Um, so we're well on our way. Holidays, we're going to just put some money in here. So we've got 200 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. So we're going to put 10 pounds in. And gifting has 35, so we're going to leave that for the moment um, until I decide what to do. I am thinking of just going through buy me a coffees. Um, I think that's maybe my easiest way. So that is £25 going in there. And then we have done the, I don't know what that is, we've done the Safiano already. So in total, my sinking funds are 45 plus 20, 25 and 20, 110. So 90 pound going in, not including the Safiano. So we have 45 going into the love binder. £20 to binder 1 and £25 to binder 2. £200 is once a month and that is basically the money I was paying towards paying off my car. Um, I put £200 into the bank and then hopefully that means that I will have a decent deposit of £2,000 by the time that is uh, ready to be spent um, at the end of the year. Now, my car is sitting on 80,000 miles and we like to change, my dad and I like to change it when it's about 90,000 because then you can still get relatively good um, money back for my car, which is in good condition, um, and put that towards the deposit of another car. So hopefully with the car and with my £2,000, you know, I'll have a good amount for the deposit for the next car. And now we're into challenges. So... My um, challenge with Sophia, uh, Soph's budget in life, is what I'm putting away for Alan's birthday. So that is like for a treat or something like that. So basically what I'm going to plan and do is um, use this towards like if we go away or if we go away for a cruise in the summer. I was going to use it for a party, but I don't think he wants a party. He might like enjoy a meal out, but then his family can pay for themselves. So let's see what we're going to roll. Pink. We've had pink before as well, so that is five. So five pound going in there. 
I'm just going to write pink so that we know that's what we're colouring. So we'll probably do the pink on the second rainbow because we've already got pink in the first one. And then Cabin Break just gets £10 um, per cabin. So that is for my trip to Belgium. And that is basically there because there's not enough room in my savings challenges. So. <laughs> um, but it is kind of going towards sinking funds as well, if that makes sense. These ones have a... Like these ones don't really, apart from the opticians, don't really have a... Um, like an end goal they're not for anything specific for at the moment but these two obviously are um and then when these ones apart from the opticians one they'll be just reallocated into where i, I think they're best served um when they're finished so and then, so i think that's 305 i don't know if i pressed the wrong button on the calculator so let's just add up 45 plus 20 plus 25 plus 200 plus 5 plus 10. Yeah, 305. So we'll take that away from the 791 minus 305 is 486 zero, zero. And this is why I need my HG shop, guys. This is why I need the money from YouTube because, um, you know that 486 i mean i guess i don't have to put all that away but you know if i was still paying off my car i would still only have 500 pound to 600 pound to last me through the rest of the month if that makes sense so um i am in a good position where i i can manage because i am putting all this money away but it would be so much nicer to just have a bit more money so the monthly challenge is a five week month so it's going to get 10 pound a week the 10 52 weeks again is going to get five pound uh, 10 pound a week we're all mad here and i must finish off this one because i think it only goes up to me i don't know what i've done with the rest of it i think i used it to when i had like ones that didn't work out properly so let's go ahead and we'll just scratch off the first one. Oh, typical well, gets it out of the way. Uh, this only adds up to fifty pound in the month anyway, so it's and you don't always have to do it. You can do, you could do like less a month if you wanted, and just scratch off one per month. You know what I mean, and make it last four years. It's totally up to yourself. But um, twenty pound going in there. I'm not going to do seasonal because I've pulled the twenty pound, um, and I think we still have a few weeks left of spring 21st of june i believe is when summer starts so we've got time yet to do spring so we're not going to do that adorable friends this one is from sorry i meant to say this one is from a uh, cash but cute um and the envelope is from dilly dally budgets i bought them from jess so they're not actually i didn't buy them from the actual company uh, people but it's an unintentional collaboration which so I think if you're going to get the cozy cabin just go ahead and get this from Sarah if you can um adorable friends oh I didn't put it in there did I I've got them here because they were too bulky so we are just going to shuffle these a wee bit oh golly I'm not very good at shuffling guys especially not on camera um and that they're quite small for doing that with you know like you need a bigger pack <laughs> right let's go ahead and pick out we've got quite a lot of the yellowy ones so let's pick out that one and we're only going to draw one maximum we can draw 16 so it's fine and we have two that's all right two pound going into adorable friends isn't that cute I think it's a wee piggy, I think. I don't know, it looks like a cow as well, so it's lovely. Love it. So yeah, so I'm gonna put that one in here. I say this is towards um nothing at the minute. And I think it's I can't remember quite how much it um adds up to. My binder can't shut. Opticians 
again, we don't really need this, but we will roll 20 sided dice for this. And we've got 20. My budget does not like me this week. <laughs> 20 pounds, so we'll just do a combination of all these numbers to get 20 pound. Should have done that first and then I could have not done Sophie's one. <laughs> it's only two pound, what difference does it make? Pocket money and penny challenges are actually the leftovers from this, so we don't do them for now. Let's add up to so 10 plus 10 plus 20 to 20 and 6. I'm not going to lie, if I wasn't doing this on camera, I would probably roll again for opticians, but we're just going to go ahead with it. £6 to £8. Pound. Um, I say I do have an NSCP coming in, so I know I'm going to be okay. So 486. I'm not going to get a YouTube. Yeah, I won't get a YouTube pay this month because um, I'm not going to hit the £60, which is fine. Um, I say views are way, 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 way down. So it just can't be helped. It's just one of those things. I think people just have lives coming into the summer, don't they? And you can't expect everybody to just want to sit in and watch my videos. I'm going to just carry on with my extra day. Um, so in total, that'll be £408, which will easily do another week. Um, and then I'll bring in my YouTube, not my YouTube, my Etsy money. But I'll be another couple of hundred. Um, I will get mileage as well from work. So yeah, we're, we're going to be fine. No problems at all here. But yeah, that is my budget for the first week of May. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you don't enjoy my thought processes, then I'm sorry I've put you through that. But yeah, that's how I work out my budget on a weekly basis. If for any reason that that had come to like £200 or something. Um, I would have put a lot less in here. I wouldn't have done all of these challenges. Um, obviously, I still need the, the groceries to work spending here and I still need to pay my bills. So I would adapt it if when I did it and I thought, oh, that's not going to make me, you know, like say I didn't have any Etsy money coming in. I'll have mileage, which would maybe be a hundred pounds, so it'll not be very much. So if I didn't have my Etsy money, I would know that that four hundred pound wouldn't see me through five weeks. So I would most certainly quit some of these. I probably I would probably do the monthly and the fifty two week, and I wouldn't do the mad here or the adorable friends opticians, the spacers and my spending. You know what I mean? Because I don't need them. Um, I would probably still put the two hundred away, but I would cut down on what's coming in here so it's just a case of knowing what is coming up what you have to put away for and for me at the minute I would just rather have my money you know put aside and at the end of the day I do still have all the money that's in here and in um like the rainy day I've got 150 pounds sitting in the rainy day so I do have money I can bring back into my budget should I need to um so, it's just you don't want to be bringing money in that you've saved to live off but that's what it's there for so um your budget can't go wrong even if you overspend what you had intended to spend as in my eyes if you can put less on a credit card refrain from using a credit card um you know you can pay what you've put on the credit card off the following month it's always a better than just living on your credit card constantly spending all your money on nothing not knowing what you've spent it on and then having to buy your groceries on your credit card does that make sense um but if you are trying to budget you might not see the growth but there will be a growth um you just maybe need to come back out look at the bigger picture and see you know how well you've done so um, but yeah, that is us. I'm going to go now and start rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.